My, my. You don't exactly clean up, but you look absolutely roguish. I'll need my own outfit for the wedding. Something with a covered face. Not exactly. If Nicholas is working with Kosh, he may have given my description to the guards. I'll need your help to get inside. When you gain entrance to the palace, distract whoever watches the gates from within. I'll do the rest. Good. Here's the wedding imitation, straight from the desk of Silverclaw. After you meet your date at Hubalajad Palace, present this to the gateman. I'll watch for your distraction. What is it? What is it? Does everyone else see how stunning my date is? Good! Ah, look at all the people here. Merchants, moneylenders, and their many hangers-on. See how they look at me. As their equal. <laughs> it is a wonderful gift you have given me, my friend. What about it? Too much? Too little? To be honest, I thought I looked like one of those strange carvings on the ship's prow. But it looks good on me, you say? Then we shall be the fanciest spies in the palace. Which I should not say aloud here. I'm sorry, I'll be quiet. Look at you. Such impeccable fashion belongs on the other side of this gate. Though I am a fool to request it, might I have your invitation? Yes. Everything in order, as expected. Refreshments shall be served until the wedding begins. And might I compliment your impeccable timing? We were just about to lock the gates. Don't want any riffraff finding their way inside. A wise suggestion of Chief Inspector Ron Beek. He's to officiate the ceremony, did you know? But of course you did. Please, come in. Tonight, your safety is guaranteed by the Iron Wheel and House Guards alike. To see the interior of Hubalajad Palace with my own eyes? Truly spectacular! I could slip one of Velsa's sleeping poisons into the doorman's drink. But alas, I brought none with me. Could you convince him to step away? If not, perhaps causing a small distraction will draw him from the gate. Something... thief-ish. Are you lost? Wedding's in the other direction. What do you mean? You were the last through the gate. As long as I'm standing here, no one else is getting in. I'll need an explanation. And if I'm not satisfied, you can join Magnifica Falor on the other side of the gate. Huh. I heard rumors about Tanith Intrigue. But having to do that on her own wedding day... I almost feel sorry for her. I uh, need to check on one of the guests. Don't. 
Make it quick. Good work. Come, we should speak somewhere private. Perfect timing. I can't exactly climb the palace walls in this outfit. Before the wedding, the groom should be presented to his guests. An old Tanith tradition. Wherever Kosh is, Nicholas won't be far behind. We'll need to keep an eye on him. Avoid drawing attention to ourselves. <laughs> what can I say? Your own choice inspired me. People seem to be gathering closer to the palace. Let's join them, shall we? <sighs> This is a nice change of scenery from the den. First time I've been inside Hubalajad Palace. This place is a bit of a fortress. Let's hurry. I want to get a good look at Kosh, see for myself what kind of spineless marionette would dance for Nicholas. And I'd like to see the face of the man who stole my warehouse. Yeah, <clears throat> something in my throat. Now, who's got a drink for me? You? <laughs> Everyone! I require your attention! This is it. Stay close. Let's see if Nicholas makes an appearance. It is an honor and privilege to introduce our host for the evening. May I present the impending husband of Magnifica Flora, Lord Koss! Welcome to my home. I must thank all of you for joining me on this momentous occasion. That's Nicholas. Please, eat and drink your fill. Soon, I shall speak to you not as a humble merchant, but as a noble of Tanith. Nicholas is Kosh? But I thought... So that means... Oh no. Damn it! I should have put it together. Nicholas played us. He played everyone. There was never any Kosh to begin with. I don't know how Nicholas reinvented himself as a reclusive merchant lord, but he managed to do so. He could have been planning this for years. Bastard. We need to stop the wedding. Actually, we need Flora to do so. I think this can still work. Let's split up. Learn where she is and how we can reach her. I need to come up with a very convincing argument. Now we begin our spying? Oh, too loud again. So sorry. There's gristle in the camel milk, she says. Of course there's gristle. Who wants milk you can't chew? No job is worth this. The resplendent Magnifica Flora shan't require your attendance. Magnifica Flora's handmaid. Everything about her smells like roses, if you get me. Fusses over the bride like a doting aunt. She says the milk's for Magnifica Flora, but I know she drinks it herself. Some wine mixed in could loosen her up and cover up my spittle. She's not my patron. If you help me, I'll tell you whatever you want. The Somerset Hills 572 is subtle enough, but there's a group of fops who always hoard the bottles. Take one when they're distracted or they're sure to cause a scene, which neither of us wants. Servers. Are they coming from inside the palace? Perhaps the they have a key. I guess, of course. Like I could be wrong. A good red wine is the hardest to find. Anything. 
Get me that bottle, and I'll tell you whatever you care to know about Mag... Wonderful. Magnifica Flora's handmaid shall soon have her own bowl of milk wine, entirely free of gristle. Master Kosh installed her in his own bedchamber. It's upstairs, you can't miss it. Don't let the Iron Wheel see you. They're all through the palace like beetles on honey cake. We are masterful at this. Uh, well, you are, but I do enjoy every bit of this. Did someone just Come, touch me? Let's tell Zira what we learned. The palace is crawling with Iron Wheel. Lead the way. We'll follow from the shadows. The God. Last chance. Who are you? How did you get in here? Magnifica Falora, we came to warn you. Kosh is not the man he seems. He's a merchant lord of Abba's Landing. That's one step above the scum they scrape from ship hulls. Is there any other grand revelation before I call the guards? Please, give us a chance to convince you. Before you close any deal, you must do all you can to learn if it is a bad one. People say, this is not how I imagined my wedding to be. They tell amusing stories of what went wrong, trying to outdo each other's tales. Calling the guards on wedding crashers isn't one I've heard. Why shouldn't it be the story I tell? The Thieves' Guild stole my dowry. In doing so, they upset my standing in tennis. But far worse, they desecrated the remains of my ancestor, Denobia. When they couldn't remove the jeweled crown from her head, they separated it from her body. The Merchant Lords of Abba's Landing are exceptionally crooked. They buy from pirates who raid Teneth waters and bandits who raid Teneth roads. But plundering ancestral tombs? That is too far, even for them. Kosh, head of the Thieves' Guild? You say he betrayed his own people to steal a dowry for some mad plot to marry a noble of Teneth? If you are bard sent by my cousin, your imaginations are sorely lacking. Why not say Kosh rode a dragon? With what time? 
My escort arrives soon to begin the wedding. I have accepted my fate, as you must accept yours. Unless you can produce the skull of Denobia herself, you can tell your fanciful stories to the Iron Wheel. I have indulged this madness for long enough. Magnifica Flora, are you almost ready? The guests are assembling within the palace. Magnifica Flora is indisposed. She'll be ready in just a moment. Do you intend to keep me here? Look around. There's nowhere to go. But what of the hidden passages Zira mentioned? There might be another way out, yes? There must be a pattern. Try another combination. There must be a pattern. Try another combination. There must be a pattern. Try another combination. Did that cabinet just click? Well, well. A portion of the dowry Nicholas decided not to return. And this must be Denobia's crown. Nicholas, 
You've doomed yourself. I knew Nicholas kept trophies from his heists. I used to smooth it over with the guild. One of his eccentricities, I'd say. Becoming Kosh hasn't altered his compulsion. He desecrated Denobia's remains, cut off her head. Now, we return the favor. I'll show Falora what Nicholas really is. She wants Denobia's crown as proof? I'll give it to her, along with her ancestor's skull. Once I have her attention, she'll listen. Find your way to the wedding crowd. Once Nicholas is revealed as a fraud, escort your date from the palace. I'll see you at the den soon enough. You're in charge until my return. Magnifica Falora, there's something you need to see. I do hope Zira knows. The wedding is about to begin, but where is Zira? Today, Lord Kash of Abba's Landing joins with Magnifica Falora, the Jewel of Tanith. It is my honor, as a duly appointed officer of the Iron Wheel, to officiate their union. Stop! There is no honor in this union. What is this? Gods! Zira? You're alive? I... that is... what is the meaning of this? More importantly, why do you have the desecrated remains of my ancestor? The Iron Wheel? Look behind us! Should we be going? There must be some mistake. Chief Inspector Ronbeek, take everyone into custody. I want this mess sorted. They have Zira. We should go before they arrest us too. Iron Wheel! Secure all exits! Man. None shall leave the palace grounds! Question everyone here! Be thorough! Falora, my darling, I have been trained. I implore you to reconsider. Give it a rest, Nicola. My
ones like you. Your date made it back before you, informed us of what happened at the wedding. Don't blame yourself. Zira told you. Yes, Zira's capture was an unfortunate turn of events. But Nikolas is the Iron Wheel's prisoner as well. A small reason to celebrate. Magnifica Falora has her dowry, and Nikolas is behind bars. The Iron Wheel won't be here much longer. We'll have a chance at freeing Zira in the chaos of their departure, whenever that is. But that's more your call, isn't it? Zira said you were in charge until she returned to the dead. That makes you the acting guildmaster. Boss. Just so we're clear, an acting guildmaster has no real power. But it makes you sound important, so we may as well call you that. Also, you get the blame if anything goes wrong. You know how it is. For now, nothing. Until we learn where they've taken her, there is little we can do. But we will learn. I'm certain of that.